Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. We are going to build the house today. And I've gotten many wonderful comment suggestions uh, from commenters like you. And I'd like to go over uh, not all of them, but some of them briefly. Uh, so, <clears> okay, <throat> here we go. JSF four star said deep slate tile floors, please. And don't forget about the stone cutter. That is excellent advice. Uh, we actually have some stuff in the hot bar to build a stone cutter today. And so that will come in quite handy. Teresa said, I vote wood floor because it's cozier. Well, Teresa, we're not gonna go with a wood floor, but we are gonna try to make it cozy in honor of you. She also writes, great way to start the morning is coffee and a new Minecraft video from Peter in the basement. Well, thank you, Teresa. I, fiend, I find that that is also a nice way to start the day for me. And uh, speaking of which, I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Ooh, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, Michael says a mixture of different stone for the floor. Another fine idea. Brandon C says polished granite floor at the back corner of the house, double doors into the mine, and the wall should be deep slate bricks. That back wall there, so it doesn't look like uh, it's part of the house, but more like it looks like it's part of the hill. Ooh, it's getting dark out. Let's go to sleep while we keep reading here. Uh, Sky Gamer says, I vote the floor should be polished granite or stone brick. Uh, we actually have some stone cooking so that we can make a little bit of stone brick. Um, like so. Uh, cobblestone can be uh, smelted into smooth stone and smooth stone can be crafted into stone brick. We will use a little bit of that, but I think most of it is going to be the deep slate. Because that is what people have asked for. Okay, I vote that the floor should be... Oh, that's what Sky Gamer said. Brandon T... Uh, we had a couple of Brandons. Votes deep slate floor. Also, uh, Brandon called the sheep wolf problem before the video before last, right? So you may remember you, episode four started with me going, hey, my sheep are all gone. Uh, now wolves could still spawn inside of here, but for now we have one safe light gray sheep and we have been shearing him and getting some wool. So I think we could take a little light gray wool bed on us uh, for an adventure at some point, maybe in this episode, maybe in the next one. Uh, okay, let's see, a couple more here. Eric says, I think you should make a geode floor. That would be unique. Well, I don't have any geode yet, but when I find one, if I remember, or if you comment again and I see it, then maybe we will incorporate a little bit of that into the build just for you. Uh, Dio votes glass house so you don't throw cobblestone. Uh, Dio, I would never throw cobblestone. So uh, we will put a little bit of glass in the house uh, so we can see outside. And Joshua says, you need to make your house a hobbit hole. Well, this area is sort of a hobbit hole, right? Uh, and it's actually gonna look a little less so eventually, but uh, I think it looks a little bit that way for now. And so I am pleased enough with that. All right, thank you for your patience. Uh, thank you also for your comments. And uh, if you would like to have an influence on this series, then feel free to comment and make suggestions. Okay, so this is an extra chest because I was really running out of space in my chests in there. Uh, but it's time to start getting uh, going with some of these suggestions. Now we can take this granite and put it in the crafting table and make it polished granite, okay? Boom. One stack of polished granite. Also, we can take uh, these and make a stone cutter, which we're going to do like so. There's the recipe right there. You can see it right there. Hey, how come the output square is not even with the crafting grid? It's like low. That's weird. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and craft that um, because that's going to come in handy for uh, making... Boy, are we out of room. Uh, you know what? We can put it on top of here. Uh, deep slate stuff. All right, but we do have our uh, polished granite. So, yes, yeah, so let's grab some deep slate. Now, cobbled deep slate is interesting. It's what you get when you don't use silk touch. When you do use silk touch, you get regular deep slate. And regular deep slate is like useless. You can't craft it into anything else. That's kind of crazy. But here we can make chiseled deep slate. And uh, so we have a few options here. We've got, uh, let's see, what is this? Polished deep slate slab. Okay. Uh, I like the sound of that. But also, 
this slab, which I think is the tile. Deep slate tile slab. Okay, that's quite cool too. And then we also have this which is deep slate brick slab. And then lastly, just the regular deep slate slab. I think we want to go with bricks because we're also going to do some stone brick. Uh, so can we do... Ooh, that's noisy. Can we do a stack and then switch over to um, the tile? Because the tile was suggested as well and do the rest of these like this. And then we can kind of take a look and see which one we like better. We just got two stacks out of one stack because we're okay with the half slabs. And also because um, we use the stone cutter. Okay, so the back corner here has got to be... Oh dear. Hello. Uh, why don't you follow me over to the water, please, sir, and we can have ourselves a chat. The water absorbs so much of the blast that not only do you not have to hurry much about getting hurt, but um, you also don't have to worry about damage being caused uh, by the creeper. So we're just gonna sort of pull him out and away from stuff and then I think we attack in such a way that he goes even further out. There we go. No harm, no foul. Watch out for creepers. Uh, I did not go to sleep in a timely enough manner last night in the game, and that is why we ended up dealing with uh, mobs wandering around in the day. You know what, and as long as I have you guys on camera, I've been trying to avoid feeding, overfeeding the cows. I'm not sure how many I had at the end of the last episode, but we ended up with enough to start breeding them, which is only two. And uh, start breeding them, I did. But we're going to be doing that in earnest. And so uh, before it gets too out of hand, I wanted to show you a bit of the early process. How many cows do we have down here? Six. So we can feed them all and end up with three baby cows. And then we'll have nine. And if we feed all those, we'll end up with four baby cows. And then we'll have 13, and if we feed all those, we'll end up with six baby cows. So you can see how it can get out of hand rather quickly. Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder if we should do that. So the one underneath the door is uh, that. And then I wonder how much, how much of this, maybe like, uh, see, because this is going to be one too, because I'm going to do the double door. So maybe like that. It doesn't have to be perfectly even, and I kind of like it when it's not, honestly. Okay, so let's put these away and get out uh, a stack of the deep slate regular deep slate and then i also have the tile and stuff right yes and i also should have the oh that's iron let's get the iron going um where's my smooth stone right here so we could turn this into i actually don't think i need that but maybe i could get um yeah slabs so you can make this stuff in here, you just get less of it, right? I could make a stack of these, and in fact, I, I just go, will. But then, if I wanted to make um, slabs, oh, actually, I do get the same cost. But, like, look at this. If I went to make stairs, it would cost me six of those blocks to make four stairs, but um, I can actually get six stairs out of six blocks if I use this instead. It's like it's more efficient. Right, so I can get, so I get two slabs for every block, I get one stair for every block. So that is uh, fantastic. Let's go ahead and get um, a stack of these. Pardon the noise. And then uh, we'll keep the rest as blocks for now. Okay, so we got some building to do. Uh, that could be part of the floor, that could be part of the floor, and this could be part of the floor, and this will be part of the back wall. 
And I don't think I'm going to need an axe in my hotbar while I'm doing this, so let's go ahead and do it like that. So we got four building blocks in the hotbar. Oh, we also have to put up our logs. That is an important step as well. Um, let's go ahead and do that first. So this is what the frame is going to look like. Is like this. Okay. And then we can go ahead and come out this way. And we're just going to connect this whole thing up. And uh, that'll give us a really early indication of how, how this thing is going to turn out. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, can I reach that? I can't. So I think I have to come out from here like this. And then we'll see if I got the height right. Hopefully I did. Uh, oh, actually model logs. I mean, not actually. <laughs> uh, Cause I've been doing a little bit of tree farming. Oh look, they lined up just perfectly. Okay, great. All right, and then we'll do this. And my, how the time flies. Do you see that the sun is already setting? But we have ourselves, don't you feel just a little bit safer already? Okay, let's go ahead and use um, the tile right now. And uh, we'll cover this up until it hits about uh, until it covers that up. And then we'll switch to the deep slate brick slab. Actually, maybe we could do one more row like this, okay? Then the deep slate brick slab. So we kind of have a natural division of the house. And then uh, and then three of the regular brick slabs. Let's try that. Let's see how that feels. And then let's, uh, whoops, then we'll have to jump into bed here. Boy, I need a new pickaxe. Okay, sleeping time. I'm glad I don't have to jump through the door right now uh, like I had been doing in the past. That's, uh, that's an improvement already. Ah, all right, here we are. Uh, ooh, that is kind of an ugly transition. If it were turned, I'll bet that would look better. Yeah, I'm not sure I love that or this. Yeah, the whole thing needs to be turned in order to do it that way. So, um, do I have... Ugh, I gotta make another pickaxe. See, it's okay to be picky. Because we're gonna live here. And, then you know, it's important to like it. Okay, let's make another pickaxe. And... Boom, just like that. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear up a bit of this floor and then I will... Uh, lay it down again, and I will let you guys uh, see it on camera, and we'll talk about what we think about it. All right. All right. Be right back Hmm I'm having an idea What if instead of a rectangle the house went this way a little bit too? Like maybe one two three more like to here and then we would have a good excuse to use uh, that stone brick floor. How far out do we do bring this? Just three or more? This tree has got to go. That much I know for sure. And now I wish I had my axe on my hotbar again. Uh, these are the sort of little like mind changing things that uh, make the game fun for me. Um, I can have an idea in my head and then while I'm building uh, the idea actually changes. So let's let this tree decay, and you know what? Maybe this one will have to go too. Uh, and then all the leaves can decay, and then we can see about building in that direction. But yeah, then, then we can put this stuff here, right? And uh, that could look quite nice. Uh, and this will give us a chance to break this dumb stone shovel I've been hanging on to for about forever. Anyway, it's got to be at least three, I think. But maybe more. How how big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe we could go five. I don't know. Would that look dumb? Didn't I get rid of this tree? Forgot about the stump. Yeah. 
I think it would look dumb if it was three by three, but it would look okay if it was three by five. Okay, is that is that our decision? I think it may be. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and then here. All this stuff's gonna have to go away. Otherwise, th these leaves are gonna stick to these logs and not decay because they'll think they're part of the same tree. Maybe, I think that's how that works. Three, four, five. Beautiful. Uh, we're gonna have to stick a post here. Don't be afraid to drop and take a little bit of damage when you're building. Uh, that tends to be the way that things go. Okay, so. It's a little more complicated now, but I think that's okay. And, uh, I think I like it. Where's our shovel? I need a new shovel now, too. At least we don't need the wood on the hot bar anymore. Okay, so, uh, back to me making the floor and then getting back with you guys when I'm ready to show it to you. So, uh, let me, uh, get that taken care of and I'll see you in a moment. Well, if that's not serendipitous, I don't know what is, but we ran out of, uh, the floor beneath my feet. Uh, right at the very last one placed. So um, here's how it's looking right now. Let me come over to the entrance here. I'll pick up this sapling while we're at it. Hello, sheep. Um, so we start off with the stone brick. Ow. Stone brick. And then we go to the deep slate brick. And that's a nicer transition when uh, the tiles are oriented this way. What is this? North? Yeah, north-south. Uh, the transition from north to south. I think that works better. And then the translation to to this as well. So it gets deeper and darker as we get into the house. Oh, look, we need to put these here. Uh, I will do that. And then I'm wondering if any of these should be this material. And the answer is probably yes. Um, but for now, let's start placing this, which is our block that goes back here. And I want to do... Um, wood where it's air but I want to do this material where it's dirt um, and I think that that will give it a bit of a look of being built into the hill same thing with here right this block will be this but this block right here that'll be that'll be wood so um, I'm thinking I'd like to get these st the stone part of the walls in and then uh, rejoin you guys and we'll discuss what we're going to do for the walls. The rest of the walls. All right, I am liking the way that this is turning out. Those are some solid looking walls. Uh, the rest of the walls are going to be wood. And what kind of wood? I'm actually thinking oak. And the reason I'll say oak is that even though we had things like birch suggested um, or wood floors, which we're not doing suggested, I just think that the birch is going to be too light to go with this dark oak. It would go better with spruce logs. Um, but I think oak is going to look nice for an outer wall for this thing. And so that's what we're going to go ahead and use. But uh, we need to cut some oak trees down before we do that. And our oak supply is uh, primarily over there. So uh, I'm going to take a sleep. And then uh, we'll take our axe over there and we'll grab some oak. All right, before we go get the oak, we do have to put in our second door here, which requires replacing that bit of floor. And uh, we're gonna have to replace this so that it reorients itself like that. Okay, and now we have a double door, which is very, very nice. Okay, and maybe a few torches here too would help out. Now we're gonna have to make some more. Goodness gracious, there's just the, the chores never stop around here. Let's see, eight will make us 32. So now we have a half stack down here, which is nice, okay. Um, definitely gonna stick torches here and here and here but I'm not sure about well that one makes sense like that right and I guess this one will make sense like this okay let's go get some oak wood alrighty we've got a few and while we're waiting for the saplings to drop I thought I would come over and feed the old cows if they're ready and it, it seems as though they are. Uh, we're not feeding the babies because the babies can't uh, breed. It would encourage them to grow up faster, but I'm not as worried about that as some might be. Also, I wanted to bring the oak back and A, get a feel for how it's going to look, but also B, um, 
try and figure out how many we're gonna need here. So let's go finish these two walls, I think. Because uh, I don't want to cut down more than I need. And, and how, you may wonder, am I doing that to the wood? I'm peeling the wood with my axe uh, by pressing the other trigger button. Not chopping it, but uh, peeling it with ZL. Uh, which is very cool. A very cool effect in my opinion, although it takes four times as much wood to build, you know, whatever you're building. Uh, it's still quite cool. Okay, can I actually make it? I can't. Uh, so I need one, two, three, four, five more to finish this wall, and then a bunch to do this wall and these walls, although there will be windows, right? So, um, hmm. And a door. A door! Uh, so, I don't need quite as many as I think I do, but I need a bunch, so let's go chop down a bunch more oak trees. It has begun to rain during my oak tree farming, and I've also noticed that there's a bunch of sand over here. I think we talked about the sand over there before, but this sand here is a good candidate to grab for, um, making glass and making windows. We'll just need to make sure that we, uh, make a new stone shovel or a new uh, iron shovel before we come over and attempt that. So, um, again, while we're waiting for those to deteriorate, let's take our not quite half stack. Hello, sheep multiple sheep. Let, you know what, let's make it a solid half stack and then we'll head back uh, and add those logs to our build to see how they look. A half stack plus one. When I keep saying stack and half stack, it makes me hungry for pancakes. Some restaurants offer stacks and half stacks of pancakes on their menu and uh, pancakes are generally not a very good value at a restaurant because they're extremely cheap to make at home. You know, at least with the steak, it's like, yeah, this cost me $6 at home and $20 at the restaurant. But uh, with a pancake, it's like it costs you 50 cents at home. Okay, let's peel these. When you peel one side of a log, you peel the whole thing. And ah, look at that. Um, this looks a little weird. I think. I think I want to replace this with wood. And put a couple here right? Everyone okay with that decision? Um, it doesn't really matter because there's nothing you can do about it other than leave me comments. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so we're gonna need, ooh, how many do we need here? Uh, and you may think this is gonna look really weird from the outside to have those sticking out like that, but actually what my plan is is to use uh, more of these here, here, and here. And then uh, some of these blocks won't even matter. But this one will. Uh, you know, I suppose th this one probably will have to be this. Uh, but for the rest, it shouldn't matter too much. And then it will look nice from the outside. I'm still sort of figuring it out and thinking through as I go. I'm going to need a new dark oak tree. Oh, I have a new dark oak tree ready to go right there. Let's see. If we go this way, we can get down without taking any damage, which would be nice. Uh, and we do want to peel these. These are suddenly going to be vertical. Let's combine our axes. Um, and, uh, does anyone mind working in the rain? I think it's kind of cozy, but, uh, it's not for everyone. Okay, so, uh, the wall will be I mean, I don't mind filling this, you know, we don't want anything spawning in there, so we'll fill it up. Okay, so the wall will come out, and that will be the door right uh, there. What's hitting me? Oh no, it's a baby zombie! If 
I were Paul Soros Jr. or Kyle Blaine, if Kyle Blaine plays, I would be um, making that sound like a creepy little zombie with a voice saying, hey, uh, you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies or whatever, whatever it is. Uh, okay, so we're going to need a, um, a one of these, I think. Here. That's where the door is going to go. And did I pick up a peeled one? No, I did not. Okay. So, um, hmm, where's the window going to go? Probably. I'm going to put dirt in place of the window for now. Yeah, I think like that. And then this will be wall. So if you can sort of imagine. And then door, right? Another one? Ugh. Is it nighttime? Oh no. I broke my sword. I need to make an iron sword. I need to make an iron shovel. I need to make all sorts of stuff. I am in deep trouble here. Okay, this is the door. This is more wood. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of see how the house is uh, shaping up. If you imagine that dirt as... Uh, glass, which actually would be a lot easier to do if I just got rid of the dirt. I just only had it there to place the logs against. Uh, where's my axe? I really should go to sleep before a creeper drops in and threatens to undo our work. Be careful not to accidentally peel the bark you're not trying to peel. Okay, let's go to bed. Bed, bed, bed. All done rainy night. Look at how cold and rainy and miserable it is out there and how nice and cozy we are in here. Okay. Is it still raining? Oh, looks like it's clearing up. Very nice. All right, so yeah, you can, uh, you know, we're still missing some oak and, and things. Uh, what kind of door are we going to put here? And then we'll need to have um, stairs or something leading up to this. Oh, boy. You know what, before we tempt the fates too much, let's make some iron gear. We need a sword, we need an extra shovel for sand, for glass. <sighs> we just, we got things to do. Okay, shovel there. Um, we need one, two for a sword there. We don't need the string, although it doesn't go up here. You see how hard it is to just keep, keep your stuff organized, keep track of everything? Uh, it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, I think. Uh, do we need to iron anything else right now? We're okay on the pickaxe. Let's get an extra shovel, and we're gonna want a hoe eventually too. So we may as well make one now and try to break that stone one. Let's put the iron back, and uh, maybe we can get rid of some, uh, oh, that's wool. Some of these blocks here. Although some of these should go outside, I think. Because we're using them to build. So it kind of makes sense. We're using these to farm. Uh, that doesn't make very much sense, but oh well. I'm not sure we're going to be using much spruce. You know, we'll probably make a spruce door. That could look real good for the front door, I think. Let's put this back here. Let's go inside and make our, uh, oh man, we're so crowded. It'll be nice to move some of this work stuff outside. Okay, we need a sword. Uh, we need a shovel. We need an ax. And we need a hoe. We're still doing okay on sticks. That's the one nice thing about, one of many nice things about tree farming is you end up, uh, not running out of sticks as fast as you otherwise would. Where's our new shovel? Over here. Okay, uh, and we can put... Actually, we can keep that blank so we can tell how many logs we're getting. Now we're all, uh... We're all armed up and ready to go. What is this? A dark oak sapling. Why is that there? Are we alarmed? <laughs> Let's swim back over to our, uh impromptu oak farm here, and hopefully not all of our saplings aren't despawning. I set torches everywhere I cut down a tree so I can pick up the saplings and replant. But it may be a long while before we actually can. I'm seeing apples and sticks and stuff, though, so we should be getting some saplings here. 
And let's go ahead and use up our stone hoe. This is a good way to get rid of leaves quickly. If you don't want to wait for everything to decay, uh, use a hoe to destroy these blocks. Or um, an axe works okay too, but usually you don't want to wear out your axe on the leaves. You know, because then you're just making more axes. The hoe is faster at it, and it takes fewer resources, because it only takes two pieces of stone or iron or whatever else. All right, so let's replant. Anywhere we see a torch, that used to be an oak tree. And anywhere we plant a sapling, it will one day become an oak tree. Here we have a couple of cows. Don't look if you don't want to see them meet their demise. I may have given that warning just a little bit late. Oh, I gotta eat some breakfast. Okay. And let's keep planting our trees. Uh, where's... Did I break the hoe? I did. So now we can use iron hoe. Ooh, that's fast. It's the way to go. Waiting for these things to decay is kind of a pain in the butt. But trying to break them with, uh, I don't know, your fist or whatever else, that can be a big pain as well. Okay. Uh, have we replanted all the ones we've cut down over there? Yes. Let's keep going over here, and we'll cut down some more oak trees, and, you know, maybe I will just... Fade to black and skip this part, and once we have all the oak to finish our build, uh, or once we're ready to dig up some sand for some glass or whatever it ends up being, I will cut back in. So, see you soon. Hey, look at this oak tree. It's not every day you see a two-by-one oak tree, and in fact, that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at a two oak trees right next to each other. They will grow right next to each other, and so when you're planting, if you... Oh. Do I want to bother with this? I guess I will. If you're planting, you can plant the saplings right next to each other. The downside is you don't get as many leaves as you do if you spread them out a little bit. So keep that in mind, um, you know, if you're worried about your supply and being able to replant sustainably, uh, then don't plant them too close. But if your goal is wood over saplings, then you can go ahead and plant them real close, and uh, they can all grow. Especially if you have bones that you can turn into bone meal, you can test that out. But uh, let's go ahead and just run a little test here. See, there's our house over there. You can see it off in the distance there. Um, let's go ahead and just plant a few of these in a row, and uh, we'll see how they do. We'll see if they all grow or not. Okay, I gotta go back to chopping here. I heard in a comment, if you rush a creeper with an iron sword, you can kill him before he explodes. Let's try it. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. You can. Although my first hit was a critical hit. That may have been an important part of the equation. Let's go sleep. We can check out our uh, house at night, though. Oh, we almost have enough wood. Huh. Well, sleep anyway. Ah. All right, it's time to gather the rest of the oak that we're going to need, and also the sand uh, for glass that we're going to need. And then, uh, ooh, a skeleton. Yes, I see you. Multiple skeletons. Uh, if a creeper dies via a skeleton's arrow, um, it will drop a music disc. It's a guaranteed drop, and those are uh, a rare drop otherwise, so... A way to be able to guarantee it is kind of nice. If you wanted to, you could set up a deal where you have a, a skeleton trapped that can't despawn. Sorry, cow. And then you could uh, use it <laughs> to kill creepers for you if you could lure them into a trap in front of it, right, within its range so that it would shoot it. Uh, that would be great. Okay, let's cut down one more tree. I think that's all it's going to take, even just a little guy like this. And then we can move on to gathering sand for glass, and uh, that won't take long at all. <clears throat> and then we'll get back to our house and continue building. Uh, let's see, how much of this stuff do I want to get? I want to get something that is divisible by both 6 and 8. So 24 is a logical choice. Uh, 48 would also work just fine. Um, so let's just see how I feel, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, I ended up getting 48 because it was easy to do and because it's also easy to run out of glass. Um, so, you know, the more you gather, like, there's no way I'm not going to use them all in this world. 
I don't think. I guess, I, you never say never, right? <clears throat> uh, except for in the instance of telling people to never say it, I guess. How's that for some logic? Okay, boy, is that... That's a little ugly, but... We'll get this going in the furnace here. Let's see. What's going to take? Six pieces of coal. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. To cook up all of that. And then let's place the rest of our oak. And I think the way... This is going to work. I hope I haven't miscounted too terribly. Uh, this can actually be dirt. Because we're going to stick dark oak in front of it anyway. The outside of the house may look ugly at the end of this episode, but the inside should look nice. Okay, we're going to go like this, and then we're going to have a window here. So let's have some dirt on the hotbar. So we don't forget to put in our windows, and uh, so that we'll know what you know, it's gonna look like. In general, when I build like this, with this depth, I have the vertical posts and then the sideways ones. I like the depth there, but I don't like the window to go right up against that. I, it needs at least a one block buffer. Uh, so, so far, so good, I would say. Let's put some dirt here. Uh, and is this gonna be dirt? Yeah, there will be a post here. So that can be dirt. And so can that. Okay, and so will this. And this. Okay, and definitely this. Because that won't matter at all. And this. Alright, so. Uh, let's build the rest of this now. Wait a minute. Not that one. I am a mistaken. Oh, but how are we gonna... Hmm, I may have to tinker with this. Put a vertical one here? That could work. Well, it's gonna look weird if we don't do it here also. Which probably means we have to do it here. All right, exceptions. Uh, the reason I'm changing my mind about this is because I don't have enough room on this inside corner to put a block out here and still be able to fit in a window the way I want to. Um, so these, you know, where I'm doing these four uh, dark posts like this on the corners, though that works great for outside corners. It does not work as well for inside corners if you don't pre-plan a little better. Um, that would have to be a deeper corner in order to be able to do it the way that we want. And uh, let's see. Do we do... Yeah, we're going to have to go vertical. Right here. We may, in fact, make them all vertical. I'm just not sure yet. Uh, that could be an interesting look. Um, but we cannot have the horizontals without it looking funny in one room or another. Okay, so then that one's vertical, too this and does this one have to be vertical I suppose it should be <sighs> yeah I suppose it should be okay um, do we have a ton of wood left over sort of need to put a wall here so there's gonna be a door there and I think maybe no window at all on this side uh, so like this and then like this okay uh, hmm. get rid of that and we'll strip all this being careful not to strip our dark oak. Gosh, oak and dark oak really do look nice together in my estimation. Okay, that's a pretty solid entryway with no glass whatsoever. That's what we get for doing five, I suppose, but it's okay. I don't think it looks bad. It's just a little atypical per my style. Okay, we gotta do these 
things to here. All right, so that's it for walls other than glass. The ceiling will have to come after that. Uh, let's check on our glass. Um, okay, so once we get to 30, we can make a bunch of panes without any blocks left over. You can put in a full block of glass, uh, but six um, blocks will make 16 panes. And I find that the panes are nicer because they add uh, more depth. I'll show you what I mean. They're, they're flat and they go kind of in the middle of the block depth wise see like that uh, and so that is quite nice uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. put those in there and these are a bunch of skinny little windows but we're gonna have a nice big window right here which is wonderful and highly encouraged okay big window we could do a glass ceiling although I don't think we're going to uh, we also could consider spanning this gap with some dark oak, which I think will look nice. It will give us kind of some natural room division as well. Uh, alrighty. Boy, we did not use much glass, did we? We could put a window in here. How would that look? I think that'd look okay. What do you think? Window right here? Once you place the glass, you can't get it back unless you have a Silk Touch Enchanted. Uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we may need to change these to wood. Do we have some leftover wood now? We do. Again, more tinkering. This is the kind of thing... You know, we're not making much progress in the game right now, but uh, we are having fun. And, you know, some people like to build a nice base. Okay, so, um, this one definitely has to be wood. And then I think this one should be as well. Adds a little bit of symmetry to it, right? So you go up one, one, and then you wait, and then one, one, right? So that looks a little bit better. IMO. Okay, we have torches everywhere we want to have torches. Now we just need to put a ceiling on this place. And I'm wondering what we should use. Um, also, we want to build, I think, a fireplace. Wouldn't that be nice? Where would we put it? Probably here. I think this makes the most sense. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So here and here, these two spots would make sense for a fire as far as uh, <laughs> symmetry's sake, I think. Um, but we may not have time and inclination to do that in this episode. One thing we I did say we were going to do in this episode is dig this area out a bit more, which I think is a good idea, and also move some of this stuff out. So uh, how full are we? Pretty full. Let's drop a, drop a few things. Hmm. Get rid of the bones and the arrows and the bow. We should combine with the other bow. We don't need to do inventory stuff on camera, but we do need to have the inventory to be able to move things. Is there anything in here? No. So we can grab the table and the furnace. And uh, this furnace has glass in it. There it is. And this furnace, I think, has iron in it. Yep, there it is. And how full are we now? Pretty full. Uh, let's grab this as well. And, uh, ooh, it's getting dark. Let's move our bed. We can reset our spawn point while we're thinking about it, okay? Because this area is becoming safer now. Uh, where do we sleep? I suppose here, for now. Might be kind of a nice area. Uh, we need the spruce door in place. That would make it feel just a little bit safer. Um, okay, where are we going to put some of our wood or our working stuff? Maybe against this wall as well, right? Because, um, the fireplace is going over here. We didn't think it all the way through, did we? Uh, where are, uh, we could put some chests here by the doorway. I think that would make sense. 
And then, um, crafting and furnaces and stuff against the back wall. Maybe we put the fireplace here. Yeah, and we put the work stuff over here. I like that idea. We'll start by putting uh, the three furnaces that we have back here. We've got room to grow if we need it. And then we can stick the workbench. Where is that? It's already on the hotbar. Um, here? And then this could go where? Back here? Feels kind of dangerous, doesn't it? Maybe it goes here. And we put some stone behind it. Like that. Nope. If you duck, you can set it on the furniture. Yeah. It's not terrible. I don't hate it. I kind of hate... I kind of hate it. Let's get rid of this and replace it with this. That will make that better. And then I don't like this here. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. And the crafting bench could go out in the open. Like there, maybe. We'll put it there for now. Okay, uh, we need some extra chests. Spruce is the easiest to come by because of its high farmability. So let's... Uh, What just happened? Did I make dark oak planks? I didn't want that. I did. Okay, let's make spruce wood planks, and then we'll make um, we'll make sure to use up these dark oak planks because I don't want those. Uh, but we need some chests. Uh, let's combine these, and then we can make four chests like that and then we can go um, boom, boom and boom boom okay now it should be easy to get organized I'm not gonna organize on camera I'm just gonna dump stuff to get it out of my inventory I do I do want the sticks I want the sticks right here Okay, and then we can uh, we can move. We can move this stuff out. Although moving it in an organized manner is probably important. So let's not move it messily on camera. We'll move it carefully off camera. Okay, uh, so one thing I said last episode is that we would dig this area out a little bit this episode. And as you can plainly see, that is absolutely the case. Uh, we just need a little more space. It's kind of kind of very crammed in here. Uh, one question is, is do we dig down um, to make this a lower elevation? And the answer might be yes. Uh, cobblestone. We could do cobblestone. What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of deep slate. How deep do we want to make this? And do we want to use up any more of the... Probably want that there and here. But I'm wondering if we want... Oh, is that coal? Uh, no, it's my imagination. Um, we probably want that polished granite to go at least that far. Let's put this cobblestone away. I'm not sure we're going to... I'm not convinced we're going to use it. Although it would get... It would feel very crammed in here if it were too dark. Let's go one more this way to keep things symmetrical. We'll just have to watch out for these stairs here. Don't don't fall. Um, and yeah, I like the idea of coming down a level. Uh, so we could put some tile here, I think. Uh, or some, what am I saying? Some slabs. Those we'll slabs there, I think. And uh, we'll make it dark. Is this lower? Yes. Uh, okay, so let me do... Um, hmm. I don't want to do too much off camera, but I don't want to do too much on camera. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of work on this room, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like without leaving you out of too much of it. I hope, I think, we'll see.
Alrighty, the new look in the back room is ready. And before I show you that, the sun is setting, as you can see out our west facing windows. So really quick, let's make um, some spruce doors. Where did that spruce end up? Right here. That we can stick on our two open doorways. Feel a little bit more sealed up. Do, 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 get those ready. And um, this is a bit of an awkward jump up right now but uh, we'll we'll fix that eventually oh and I need something I need stone under there where's our stone bricks I think they're in here uh, yes Ooh, it's getting dark it's feeling dangerous uh, slap that down there and that there get inside ah Closed door, closed door, open ceiling, and there is a hill there, so anything could drop down. But let's go to sleep, and uh, I'll show you guys the uh, new look to the mine room. As soon as I take my sip of coffee after waking up. Okay. Yeah, right? Yeah, not bad, not bad. We step down here from the polished granite to slabs these are half slabs of cobblestone and these are half slabs of cobblestone so the room is three blocks tall but really it's a it's a half block and two full blocks and then another half block at the top here you see so uh, this does make this room spawn proof for the most part right something could spawn there and things could spawn here um, but they can't spawn on bottom half slabs uh, so that's rather nice. And then, uh, yeah, our mine is just down that way. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm curious what you guys think our ceiling should be made of. I'm thinking wood because that's cozy, but do we want to put a roof on this and have it be exposed, like a slanted roof that we can see? Uh, that may be a good idea too, but I'm not going to put a roof on in this episode. In fact, I'm not going to do anything extra in this episode. This episode is over. Thank you for joining me, and uh, never mind that creeper outside uh, over my shoulder there in the window, and I'll see you guys next time in the basement.